Hi friends, welcome again. We are in a brand new day. It's Wednesday, it's Wednesday, it's Wednesday. And we are in the word of God. As I mentioned to you, I'm not home. I'm actually far away. I'm in the country of New Zealand right now. And the beautiful sunshine has just come out. The sun has come out today. So I thank God for that and the blessing of being with you one more time. Well, let's get into the word of God today. Uh, today's lesson is on uh, two little minor parables that Jesus gives with big, big meanings. They're not minor in meaning. Uh, they're major in meaning. The lamp and the measuring basket. The lamp and the measuring basket. Mark chapter 4, verses 21 to 23 says this, And he was saying to them, A lamp is not brought to be put under a basket, is it? Or under a bed, right? Is it not to be put on a lampstand, given light to everyone? For nothing is hidden except that shit shall be revealed, nor anything has been secret that shall not come to light. If anyone hears, let him hear. If you've got an ear, you better hear. Jesus says in this moment, listen, um, a lamp is not made to go under a basket and to be hidden. Lamps are made to be put on lampstands and brighten up the whole house. You know, they didn't back in Jesus' time, you don't have electricity running through where you could flip a switch and, and lights come on. People use lamps back in that time, and lamps were important. The lamp Jesus is talking about here is the light of the word of God. That that God is going to give every household an opportunity to be saved. Everyone will come to know, have an opportunity to know him. Now, we don't always understand how Jesus is going to do that. In some remote, far parts of the world, we may think to ourselves, well, uh, no Christian has been here. How is Jesus going to get the word to people? I have talked to people whom God has spoken to in dreams. No Christian, no Seventh-day Adventist touched them but God himself. So God will and God can and God does speak to people to give them an opportunity to make themselves, uh, to avail themselves of light that is shining on them. That's the first thing. And God is saying, if you've got ears, you better hear. But then in Mark chapter 4, verses 24 and 25, he says this, uh, uh, to take care that you listen by your standard, by whatever standard you measure, it will be measured to you and more will be given besides. For whoever has to him more shall be given and whoever does not have even what he has shall be taken away. Sabbath school met a lesson today makes a beautiful point that in, in many parts of the world, when you buy produce or you buy something, there's a measuring, there's some kind of scale or some way of measuring that product. And good sellers will often give you more to engender your trust in them. They'll give you more than what the scale says, just to let you know you've been treated fairly. To them, more shall be given. But the Bible is also saying, Jesus is also saying, hey, but there are some people who measure wrong. And when you measure wrong, it shall be measured to you the same way. And even what you have when you measure wrong will be taken away. What God is saying to us in no uncertain terms is be fair, be right, do right. When the word of God comes to you, when God gives us an opportunity to get his abundance, we ought to accept it. For whatever standard we apply to re its receipt, that's the standard that we have. That's the standard that will stay with us. That's the standard we get. We ought to open our arms and receive everything God has asked for us. Because with what measure uh, we measure, it shall be measured also to us. God bless you.